What's going on guys, this is Nathan, or a BVG, and I'm here today to uh, demonstrate and provide a tutorial on how to install the Emerald Armor mod for Minecraft. Now before we go ahead and do anything regarding web page or downloading or how to install, uh, it's always important that when you install a new mod you give yourself a fresh Minecraft.jar. And to do this, all you need to do is load the Minecraft game itself give it a couple of seconds to, to load up here just click the options button on the right hand side and then click force update and then it should say will force click done and then go ahead and click login and then just wait for all this is doing is downloading the default uh, files for your jar from the main minecraft server and this will basically give you a fresh jar with no mods um, it keeps all your worlds as you can see so there's no no reason to uh, to worry about that. It's just re resets and deletes all the mods uh, and gets Minecraft Minecraft working again. Okay, so after that's done, all you can do is uh, close the game, and then next you'll need to uh, load up your web page or your internet browser of choice, and then head over to this link, which I'll leave in the uh, video description. And this is, of course, the it's officially called the Emerald Armor Tools and Weapons. Uh, the mod maker uh, of this is the then mine master 3 you can see that on the left hand side of the web page just over here uh, and basically in the in the forum there's been discussion that there's been mods like this before uh, or the people have had this idea uh, and basically this mod maker uh, has expressed that he doesn't feel as if the other ones are up to scratch and some of them even haven't even been updated so so um it's something that's helpful so there's a little link down here bit.ly link just go ahead and uh, to click that to get download the mod and then again click download and you see as I'm using Google Chrome it will download the the folder in the bottom left now to actually open uh, the minecraft.jar you need a program called WinRAR um, and I'll leave a link in the description for that as well okay so now that that's downloaded, something else that you also need is mod loader. Mod loader is required for, uh, well, basically to enable this mod to to run and work on the on the vanilla game. So all you do is scroll down, look for mod loader 1.4.5, and I'm going to click download direct simply to save time. Okay, so now we can see in the bottom here I've got mod loader and the mod itself. Okay, so if I press the start button, type in run, and then press enter, and then type in percentage, app data, percentage, shine. I'll also leave that in the uh, video description. Click OK, and it should load up this directory. Now, you need to look for the .minecraft folder, mine's at the top, and then double click bin, and then locate the Minecraft, um, just, just Minecraft, not Minecraft 1.2.5. And then right click open with and this is the bit where you need a WinRAR if you haven't got it then stop what you're doing and, and click the WinRAR link in the description download it install it um, make sure you get the right version for your computer 32 or 64 bit that's very important so just go ahead and open it with WinRAR and then click you'll get this message just close that uh, an important thing to note when you download a fresh minecraft.jar and you're going to install a mod you'll need to uh, delete the meta int folder so just go ahead and press delete and then yes make sure you haven't got minecraft running at any point in this tutorial uh, i must express apart from the beginning uh, because if you you delete that folder and you get an error message basically it's because you've got minecraft open so just go ahead and close that and um and then just try and delete it again so we'll minimize this for now drag this to the side and of course that to the side okay so first I'm going to install mod loader so we'll just open it up we of course get the message again and then all you need to do is highlight all of the mod loader files and then drag them across into the jar click OK do not change any settings on this everything is, is totally fine click OK that little flash indicates that it's done so all we do is press the X and then we open up the mod itself we get the message again 
highlight everything, including the two folders at the top, drag it across, into your jar, click OK, and that's it, everything's installed. So then we can go ahead and just close all of the files, minimize the web page, and uh, the next bit is over to the, the Minecraft game itself for the for the crash bin recipes uh, and just a, a general walkthrough of the tutorial. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay guys, so welcome back. Now, uh, just to let you know, uh, if you're wondering, uh, how do I find out if the mod's installed? Um, how do I know if it's working or not? Uh, basically, if your Minecraft game loads um, without a black screen and you can enter your world fine, then that's a good indication that you've got uh, the mod installed. Or that even if you haven't got the mod installed, at least you haven't messed or put anything in the wrong place. Uh, if you get a black screen while trying to log into Minecraft or load up your game, uh, do what we did at the beginning of the video. Uh, give yourself a fresh Minecraft.jar and try the whole thing uh, from the beginning because something's, something's gone wrong for yourself. Okay, so in this chest here I've got uh, emeralds which of course is what the whole mod uh, is about. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And I'll give myself an excessive amount of sticks basically just to ensure that I can create everything that we need. Now the crafting recipes uh, for the armour in this mod is or should I say exactly the same as as what the <coughs> what the current pieces of armour are. Okay, so if I just show you here, we've got the boots, and then we we'll just go ahead and make everything else. What am I missing? Sorry. The head. Okay. There we go. So we've got the four pieces of armour. If we just put those on there. And there you go, we have a full set of emerald armour. And then as for the, the tools, they're exactly the same as well. So we we'll just go ahead and make a little pickaxe, sword, and then I'll just do the shovel for the last one. Here we go. So we've got a full set of armour and few tools okay now the the extra thing as well about this mod is that these tools and armor are fully in sorry about that i just had to um change the the time of data okay so like i was saying something that's that's good about this mod is that the the tools are fully enchantable okay so if we go ahead and put the emerald sword in here you can see that i can choose a level 30 however i'm going to go for the 15 sharpness Okay, so we've got, uh, let's do four, we've got efficiency, and if I try, let's just take the helmet and uh, try that, uh, what do we get? Oh, that's quite a, a decent one, there we go. So basically the mods, the mod maker has not only inputted the, the extra, you know, created the mod itself, he's actually made sure that these, these items are enchantable uh, and that they work. So basically, the the only difficult part I would say about this tutorial uh, is installing them. You know, when when you're actually in the game, as for the crafting recipes and everything else, that's quite quite simple um, and pretty self-explanatory as as the rest of it. So I think that pretty much covers it. Um, if you've got any questions, you've got a video suggestion, any any want to get in contact with me, anything, leave a a comment in the uh, comment section, of course. But Apart from that, it's been all of these video games. Thanks for watching.